are very um, almost unique because there are only two churches like that on, on, on the planet. If you want to find out about the next one, you need to come on Wednesday. Because the church is divided between three groups. Uh, the Greek Orthodox, the Armenians, and the Catholic Church. These are the three groups that need to chair the church. So imagine like having this building, and then this section is the Baptist, and this, the pulpit, is the Methodist, and there are the Assemblies of God. Picture that, because it's always that, inside, okay? So, and here, on the floor, is what is called the Star of Bethlehem, which according to tradition, is the birthplace of Jesus. It doesn't look like a cave to me. <laughs> well, actually, you got to be there because you literally go down. But the thing is, throughout the century, the, the, the cave has been decorated that way. Is it the place? Maybe. We do know that the church fathers speak about already in the second and the first century of Jesus being born in a place like that. We can't prove it. We cannot disprove it. It's just a tradition. However, it reminds us that the birth of the Messiah. Next. All right, so Jesus is born uh, in Bethlehem, which is not far from Jerusalem. But Joseph had the obligation to present Jesus in the temple. We spoke this about on Wednesday, right? We know the story. Joseph wanted to leave Mary because, you know, you know, was his son, not his son, blah, blah, blah. We know the story. Nothing that we don't know. And so he, 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 he took that responsibility and said, you know what? I will do what I've been told by the angel. So he goes on the eighth day when it was time to, the circumcise, to circumcise him. He was named Jesus, the name the angel had given before he had been conceived. I'm reading from verse 21 in chapter 2. And when the time of the purification, according to the law of Moses, had been completed, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. This is no circumcision. This is 40 days after. As it was written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice of keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of doves or two young pigeons, that tells us already what they're offering, and is the minimum requirement, which means these are pure, poor people. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem called Samuel who was a righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It has been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he has seen the Lord Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went to the temple court with the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him. Sorry. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required. Wow, can you imagine, can you imagine that? Can, I, can I have the child, please? <laughs> Simon took him in his arm and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, you have promised you now dismiss your servant in peace. <laughs> Let me know, please. Basically, that's what he said. For my eye has seen your salvation. Once again, guys, this is a plain old word. We're missing this because it's written in English. They are playing with work right here. He said, I have seen your salvation. I have seen Yeshua. Yeshua, salvation, Jesus. But, we, but if because it's a play of word, we don't get it because it's not our mother tongue. Which you have prepared. And I get lost. <laughs> Sorry. For I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight to all the people. 
alive for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people Israel. Even Simon or Shimeon understood the purpose and the coming of the Messiah. He wasn't just only for the house of Israel, but for whom? For the revelation to the Gentiles, meaning non-Jew, and to the glory of your people. So we have in Jerusalem, and I believe you went to the, to the Israel Museum, did you? Sorry, I could not take you, right? On the last day you went, and you saw this model, right? It's made of stone. And it's uh, the, the architect, Avi Yonah, <clears throat> Designed this um, model of Jerusalem, so you would have an idea of what Jerusalem was like in the time of Jesus. And of course, the most beautiful building at that time period was the temple, which was uh, refurbished <clears throat> by Herod the Great. Jesus was taken into the temple area. Next. <clears throat> and here we have it after I think you got it. no could you go to the next and then we come back to this one hmm I'm missing one one slide there but never mind <clears throat> Jesus go and grows in Nazareth where he submitted himself right, to, his, to his parents. We know in actually in one occasion his whole family. Yeah, okay, just leave it there. His whole family goes to Jerusalem and he gets lost. Not that he gets lost. Alright. Once again, it's not Joseph. Mary, Jesus, and his little brothers who went to Jerusalem. It's a festival, and you will go once again in groups. Because it's two days later they realize, and where is Jesus? <laughs> what, it, Mary was a, such a bad mother that she doesn't know where her son is? <laughs> Yo, you know, we need to tell, what is it called? Child protection, you know. <laughs> so, no. He sent it to his relative, neighbor from Nazareth, because they decided to go and travel together. And <coughs> already by age 12, more or less, that's what Luke says, he already knew who he was. Amen. Why are you looking for me? Didn't you know I need to be in, you know, in my father's business? Amen. You know, I used to, as a teenager, I used to struggle, you know. Uh, I, I told you some of my testimony, you know, coming to faith and be the only one in the family. He said, oh, I can never relate to Jesus at my age, you know. That verse in Luke, that when he goes back to Nazareth, he submitted himself okay, and respected Mary and Joseph, despite of the fact that he knew exactly who he was. Although this is not the chronological order that I wanted to uh, present you guys, Okay, this is in Jericho. We went to Jericho. <laughs> yeah, that's why someone broke her phone or something like that. <laughs> or lost her phone with water. 